I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Brahmins, you made it to another Friday. It's going to be great phone call Friday. Yay! Um, so after today, you have only 10 days left in the nine weeks. So including today, that's 11. So it's very important that you make today count for you and for those overall averages. All right. Really, the only thing that I have is seniors, good luck. Get those scholarship packets in. Those are due today. Get them into um, the guidance office. It's not just dropping off your big, huge pile of scholarship packets. You actually have to have them organized and put them in all the different boxes. I'm excited to see those come in. Also, there's field trip today. So those of you going on the Great Explorations field trip, make sure you um, take a bunch of pictures and hashtag those. Go Brahmins. Um, all right, I have a couple of shout outs. Our wrestling team has a regional tournament today, so good luck to you all. But did you know that we have our very first ever girls 1A region four runner up and now a state qualifier? So congratulations to Anastasia White. Super proud of you. And... Just a little plug for our yearbook. So some of you have been asking, I've been getting a couple of emails here and there. When's our yearbook coming in? That'll happen in May, but you still have time to order. So if you go to yearbookforever.com, you can order your yearbook for this year. But did you know that your OHS journalism team has been nationally recognized in a book or publication called Possibilities. Um, this is a publication that goes out nationwide to every Walsworth yearbook um, company, or I'm sorry, school. And that's what, what we use. Last year's yearbook was nationally recognized. Um, we were rated gold and then all state in Florida. And then they're also using some of the spreads in this possibility book. So what this is, is a publication of ideas, kind of like a whole book of shout outs to give other high schools um, exemplar ideas on, on what to do with their yearbook. So that's incredible. And I know this year's journalism class and this year's yearbook um, is going to do great things too. So don't miss out on your opportunity to get your own copy. I think that's all I have. That's right. Good morning, Brahmins. It's your favorite testing coordinator. <laughs> yes, that's all Mrs. Norman's going to talk about for at least the next week, because I want to make sure that every junior on this campus hears this. I know some of you were testing yesterday. Wednesday, you have the amazing opportunity to take SAT for free, and it is reportable, meaning when you blow the test out of the water with the most wonderful score, you can send it to a college for acceptance. Don't miss this opportunity. But Miss Norman, I'm going to take the test later in the year. Great. You're also going to take it Wednesday. So when you guys show up to school on Wednesday, juniors, you are taking the test. This is not an opt-out situation. So come in, ready to knock that out of the park. We have a lot of teachers that are interrupting their schedules to make sure that they give you the best testing opportunity. And I'm probably going to steal Mr. Um, Stewart's announcement, but huge shout out to tennis. Sounds like they are just continuing, continuing on this win streak. Girls won all five singles and doubles. Boys struggled just a little bit, but still pulled it out, winning three singles and both doubles. And uh, it sounded like they had a really great meet against South Fork last night. We, we predicted that the girls' basketball team was going to be good, and we're predicting that this tennis team is going to be very good and go very uh, far in the playoffs as well. So keep an eye on them and go out and support them if you get a chance. All right, so backing Miss Myers, I'm a big fan of our yearbook too. Um, every time I've seen a yearbook that Okeechobee has produced and you compare it to some of the other high schools, 
Uh, ours does a great job. So the, shout out to Mr. Pung and those guys that handle that. That's, that's a beautiful uh, publication. Baseball game tonight, 7 o'clock. Uh, ticket Spicket. Make sure that you go on to Ticket Spicket and get those tickets. We did originally have a softball game planned for the night. There is no softball game. So if you're planning on going to that, please uh, change your plans. But again, baseball tonight at 7 p.m. And speaking of yearbook, um, freshmen might want to know, are we included because we're not on main campus as much? The answer is yes. Um, all those pictures that I snap of you, um, they go into a folder. And so I know as recently as just a couple of weeks ago, um, Mr. Pong was asking us to identify all of these freshmen um, so that they could be um, those pictures could be used for the yearbook. So, yes, you are included all of your pictures that you take in the auditorium, as well as the pictures that we take just here around campus also end up in the yearbook, which is one of the reasons why I take them too, so that they have a good feel for where our, what our freshmen look like and they feel included too. And this is not like that little tiny yearbook that you get when you are in middle school. It is thick um, and it is a great lasting memento to have of um, your high school years. So um, go ahead and take that opportunity to order that. Um, they'll come here as soon as they come to the high school. You'll be able to get yours here as well. Mr. Adler coordinates all that. And so um, don't miss that opportunity to have that great memory of your freshman year. Ms. Shirley? Well, I also have to just jump on the bandwagon of um, tennis here. I'm super excited about that. You may not know, but my Okeechobee High School letterman all four years was in tennis. So I'm super, super excited to hear that they're doing amazing. Only sport I can play by the way. Um, so good job, guys. So um, other than that, <laughs> we do have some exciting stuff going on today. As you know, it's uh, FFA week. And so students um, and our FFA team are going to be displaying livestock for you to view um, and see um, on our soccer field. Is that right? Out, yes, just out beyond, just right the beyond the the, right at the entrance to the field, yes. At the entrance to the field. So it's actually not quite as far as I was thinking in my mind. You don't have to walk all the way out. To you don't have to walk all the way. But you can view livestock. So that's pretty awesome. So keep <laughs> a lookout for that. During lunches. During both during lunches. lunches. Yeah, not during the rest of the day, just lunches. <laughs> but I was looking for the cows. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I love to end every day, but especially a Friday with the senior shout out. Congratulations to Elisa Wingfield. She has been accepted to FAU. So congratulations to you. I hope to keep this trend coming. Keep sending me those acceptance letters. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten about you. If you've already sent them, I still have a stack. I'm working my way through those. So keep them coming so we can keep this trend going. Be productive productive as together we move forward be great be promise all day, day.